how are we able to backfeed 90 amps to the main panel? Well, we're able to backfeed 90 amps to the main panel because we will never exceed this main panel capacity. We're using this piece of the code, forget about the 120% rule for a second. We already applied it here. You're talking about the main panel. How do you backfeed 90 amps? Here you understand how we backfeed. We have a 200 amp panel that's derated to 100 amps. That means that even if all these breakers were using energy, I showed that earlier, that's what this whole 120% rule is for. It's to protect that main bus. So even if all the breakers are using energy, we're never going to use more, we're never going to have more than the bus bar capacity. Why? Because we have 100 amps coming in from here, we have 90 amps coming in from here, the bus bar is rated for 200 amps. We're good here. Now, let's go over to this main panel. How are we backfeeding 90 amps on this main panel? Well, we're backfeeding 90 amps because we're never going to have more than 200 amps on this main panel. Why? Because the total loads and supply don't exceed 200 amps. So if we're backfeeding 90 amps, where is it the 90 amps going to go? Well, it's going to land here on the bus bar. It could go to here, right? These loads here. And if these loads aren't using the power, they're not on, for example, it would just go through the bus bar, which has a 200 amp rating, and it would go through that 200 amp main breaker and feed back to the grid. So there's really no safety issues there. There's no code issues there. We're using this other piece of the code called some of the breakers. 